Can you still see the mouth? Yes, I'm just going to be quiet and observe. You can talk so I don't okay. over talk on the audio. Everything is good. You can narrate anything you want, though, in the meantime. Okay, so the mount is basically, uh, the OTA is basically um, on the horizon at the moment. And who Wait, are we speaking but, uh, to? Uh, Carl O'Byrne from Dublin. Okay. And the time is, Irish time is 2049. Okay, and videography here is being done by Philip Smith from Manorville, New York. Thanks to Skype and uh, Camtasia Studio 7. At the moment now, um, the information is telling me that the International Space Station is still 1,200 kilometres away. So the mount is just barely moving. What equipment are you using there? Uh, uh, an AP-1200 mount attached to a, a, a C-14 uh, optical tube assembly. And uh, the camera I'm using is a Luminaire Skynix monochrome. What software are you tracking? I'm using Satellite Tracker version 4.2.48. At the moment, the ISS is still out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. All systems are go here. All systems are go, and it's going to be heading across southern Ireland down towards uh, Cork. It's going to be a pretty high uh, pass. Its uh, maximum altitude will be 61 degrees, and that's about as high as she would get in uh, from in Ireland. <laughs> So it's getting closer now to the country. You can actually see the mount. Um, it's starting to pick up, pick up a bit of speed now. You can actually hear the gear changes in the in, in the motors. I hear some aliens in the background too. That's the kids bouncing the ball. <laughs> At the moment, it's still out in the Atlantic Ocean, believe it or not, the ISS. Yeah. At the moment, now it's 700 miles away. Can you see the scope now starting to pick up speed? Yes, I do. Houston. We are gone. Now it's up over the observatory. Now we are visually tracking uh, the International Space Station. She just really kicked into high speed. Do we have visual? Can you see how fast it's moving now? Yes. Roger. And that's the beauty of these uh, astrophysics mount, is that you can actually set them that we don't actually need to do... Um, an equatorial flip. It is a well-made piece of machinery. A well-paid piece of 
American machine. <laughs> If we have a quick look now on the final stove, I might be able to actually see it. Although it's going to a good clear spot just to the Opportunity when a electronic finder scope would answer that for you. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Now the fact that it doesn't get dark here till um, nearly eleven o'clock at night. It's now um, twenty forty-eight, and uh, I could actually see the uh, International Space Station as a. Uh, a white point of light in the finder scope and a 9 by 50 finder scope. Everything looks good from here. There's the mount. The mount slowing back down now as it's um, the ISS is now over France. And it's still tracking. At this present moment of time now, the ISS is uh, over Germany, and it's still tracking. What is weather condition? Uh, at the moment, it is clear, and there's bits of cloud now coming in from the northwest. The telescope is now pointing uh, southeast. That's it now. The telescope has now stopped tracking. Okay. Uh, due to time constraints on YouTube, they only have a 10 minute. Max, so we're going okay. to conclude this test and stop at uh, almost 8 minutes and 30 seconds.